hello guys in this video we will discuss about roof and roofing so roof roof is a structural member which is generally constructed above the superstructure and which protects the occupants from external environmental impacts such as solar radiation rain and wind etc okay it may be horizontal or inclined depending on its placing position with respect to ground level it is of two types one is your flat roof another one is your pitched roof so flat roof in case of flat roof its surface is horizontal to the earth surface and generally 1 degree slope is adopted for rain water drainage flat roof is a roof which is which surface is horizontal to the earth surface but one degree slope generally ab adopted in construction so that the rain water will not stagnate on the roof surface the rain water will get drained from the roof surface because if the surface will completely flat then rain water will stagnate at the surface of the concrete and will create dampness that's why a small amount of slope is provided in case of flat roof okay next one is a pitched roof generally its surface is just form an angle of inclination to the horizontal surface so this kind of roof required a special type of arrangement which hold up the roof member in position these two members are known as berlin and rafter what is rafter then rafter are the inclined members which are generally provided perpendicular to the berlin and also provide the best to hold up the berlin similarly berlins are the horizontal member which is generally provided perpendicular to the rafters so basically in the structures which we are living is generally we preferred flat roof flat roof and it is stronger than your pitched roof but pitched roof is preferred in coastal areas where rainfall intensity is very high cast in situ reinforced concrete roofs as you know a roof protect the building from weathering effects such as heat precipitation wind solar radiation and other environmental agents as we discussed in the earlier part introduction of roofs this kind of roof is generally constructed at site that's why it is called cast in situ reinforced concrete structures because it is casted at site itself so it is known as a cast in situ reinforced concrete structures so these kind of uh, reinforced concrete roof you can directly see in your site construction site and it is most preferable concrete roofs most preferable concrete structures in civil engineering field you can see every uh, where where building is constructed they are casted uh, at site itself and uh, they are also cast in situ reinforced concrete structures okay depending on the used materials and geometrical features and according to the placement there are two types we discussed earlier one is your flat roofs another one is your pitched roof flat roofs of different kinds pitched roofs of different covering material so this type of roof follow two design technique one is your grid frame construction and second one is your flat slab construction in which load is get directly transferred to the columns first one grid frame construction that means grid frame is an arrangement of beams and columns in this uh, in this phenomena the load which are coming on slab is get directly transferred to the beams and those loads again transferred to the columns and those are transferred to the ground level safely this is the main phenomenon of grid frame construction so first method was grid frame and second was your flat slab construction in which directly we are providing the loads to the column through your slab okay precast concrete roofs 
precast as the name suggests this type of concrete ropes are generally casted either in fabrication shops or even at site in a controlled environment so as to avoid environmental impact on it when casting procedure is going on this type of concrete structures is preferred where construction works need to be completed more rapidly it requires less time to construct a structure because it is just precast casted earlier only thing we need to do is we have to place it in required position and sealed with mortar before underlaid roof covering with sheets as we discussed earlier flat roofs are rcs structures it only required to be casted and that's it nothing to nothing required to cover it okay the structure itself resists all the environmental conditions but in case of pitched roof different types of covering materials are used to cover the roof surface the most preferable material in this kind are one is your asbestos cement sheets and aluminum cement sheets okay so these are the materials which require to cover the roof next the functional requirements of roof covering so first one is your strength and stability so strength and stability stands for that means materials used in roof covering should sufficient should have sufficient strength and must be stable so that it can be fixed properly with roofing elements and provide stability to the structures okay second one is your resistance to weather material should be tough enough to withstand against all the environmental adverse effect it should resist all the weathering agencies next one is your fire safety the material used for production of this kind of elements should be fire resistant you can see the best example is your asbestos sheets so asbestos sheets are more fire resistive as you know next one is your resistance to passage of heat that is highly resistive to heat the material should be highly resistive to heat next one is your security that means provide privacy obviously next one next the last one is your aesthetic aspect that means architectural effect of better quality can be developed by using this kind of roofs you might have seen this kind of roof is generally preferred in seaside hotels okay so aesthetic aspect that means good quality of good quality good appearance quality is developed by this kind of roofing techniques waterproofing over roofs waterproofing is generally done in case of flat roofs that is reinforced concrete roofs because the roof surface is flat and it will uh, trap the rain water on its surface as we know concrete is not a perfectly impervious material when it get in contact with the water it try to suck the moisture this condition occur when rain water get stagnant on the roof surface for a longer period of a time so the surface of rcc casting roof structure should be treated with advanced waterproofing techniques if it is not done then the structure will suffer dampness which will lead to the deterioration of its strength and appearance pent surface will get damaged that's why sufficient provision should be provided and chemicals should be used to make the roof surface waterproof as you can see here the figure in this figure the waterproofing layers are being provided on the roof surface so that it will protect the roof surface from rain water you can see uh, polymers is used for mod uh, modification of asphalt you can say the most used polymers for asphalt modification are actitic poly polypropylene and styrene butadiene styrene these are the chemicals which generally used for the wa waterproofing of roof we need to just provide the layers two to three layers of this kind of chemicals so that the Uh, it will uh, create a layer on the roof surface and it will protect the roof surface from the rain water
ओके